Hello, it's Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install this Title Manager plugin onto your Minecraft server. So first, let me show you what this plugin actually does. So as you can see here, this is what the plugin does. So it gives you a little announcement now that comes up right in the middle of the screen. It's got a scoreboard on the right hand side over here, and it also allows you to modify the tab list. And it also has a couple of other features that we'll go through during this tutorial. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is go to the control panel for your server, ensure that you're running Spigot already, and then click the plugins tab on the left hand side. Then go to the Spigot plugins tab and then search for title manager with no spaces and click search. And then it should come up with this one with a similar logo to this and then click install latest. Now that it's installed on the server, we can restart it to activate it. And then once the server's restarted, we can go ahead and join the server and take a look at some of the commands which are available. So let's go ahead and join the server. So I'm now on my server and as you can see the plugin's working as it's displaying things such as this message here, there was one down here, the scoreboard and also the tab list is also modified. So these are good signs that the plugin's working correctly. So let's go ahead and take a look at the commands. So if you open the chat and then type slash TM which stands for title manager, it comes up with a list of the available commands. So let's just run through these quickly. So slash TM a broadcast and then a title sends an action bar title to all of the server. So let's say I'm going to put, um, hey, thank you for joining. And then as you can see here, here's an announcement. So that's another cool feature of the plugin, which we'll go over. So let's run this command. And then at the bottom here, you can see it comes up and this will come up for all the players on the server. So the next one is the message. So let's do slash TM a message. And then this sends a message to a specific player. So say you wanted to get a message across to a specific player because the chat's going crazy with loads of people typing in the chat. You could send this clear message to someone. So let's say I was going to send it to myself um, and then put, hey, stop doing that. You can see here it comes up at the bottom. Another one is the broadcast. So if we do slash TM broadcast and then another title. So, hey, thanks for playing. This comes up in big letters in the middle of the screen. Um, another one is the animation, so TM animations. So this displays the animations which are available um, for the plugin. Um, as you can configure these as you like, and we'll go um, over that when we configure the configuration files. So now that's basically all the um, commands that you need to know for the plugin. So let's go ahead and go back to the control panel and we'll take a look at the configuration files. So I'm now back on the control panel of my server and let's take a look at the configuration files. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the file manager tab on the left hand side, then click the plugins folder and then the title manager folder. And then here you've got a few options. So there's animations and then here is where your animations are displayed. So we're going to take a quick look at this first. So if I just open this left to right one. So what this one is basically explaining is that the text will highlight each one of these lines one after the other from left to right so it is quite complicated to understand how it works but basically what happens is it goes across left to right so from here down to here then it'll go backwards again and it will change the color of each of these um, dashes so you could change these to different colors if you wanted to and then it would work just as well as it does now so once you've made any changes so let's say i wanted to make this um a red instead of a blue you just go ahead and change all these and you'd go ahead and do the rest and then click save and then restart your server to apply the changes and the animations in game that are on left to right should display with red rather than blue so that's how you edit the animations and feel free to create your own it can get a bit complicated so you might want to refer to the documentation for title manager or contact the developer for more support about this so if you then go back to the title manager folder we can take a look at the configuration file. So this is a bit more in depth in the animations um, and we'll go through all of this in a very brief overview, um, but let's get straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the playlist section. So if you scroll down here, you should come across this section here called playlist. So this is the part that we're gonna be editing um, in this part of the tutorial. So basically what this is editing is the playlist that appears when you press the tab key on your keyboard and it appears at the top in the middle of the screen a grayed out box 
and um, with the play names. So here you can edit a header and a footer. So the header is above the playlist and the footer is below the playlist. So here you can add multiple lines and change the lines that are already there. So this um, dash here with the quotations is the first line. So say you wanted to change this to instead of being blank so it's not evenly spaced out and um, you could change this to um, welcome to the playlist and then below you could change this um, and this refers to the animations here but we're not going to edit that as it can get quite complicated um, so I recommend referring to the title manager documentation if you'd like to investigate how animations work um, but other than that you can edit the text that's displayed so instead of saying my server you could put um, the name of the ooh, the name of the server instead so mine's called YouTube Crafts, so I'd put that instead and then below that again you can add more text and so on and you can also use color code to say I wanted this to be um, a light blue I could use that as well so that's the header edited and let's have a look at the footer again it's a very simple thing and um, you can edit the text and things that are displayed here you can see it's got the world time um, with the world time parameter and server time with a server time parameter and um, so again you can change this and um, you could even remove this if you didn't want the server time to be displayed and um, so let's say I wanted to change the color as well to thanks for playing so there we go we've edited that and I want to leave the rest as it is um, for my server but you could edit it again add more text here if you wanted to or add more above or do whatever you wish so yeah that's how you edit the playlist so let's just go ahead in game and take a look at how this looks so we're going to save the file and then we're going to restart the server and then we'll join and take a look at the playlist. So I've just joined my server and if we open the playlist, you should see it's got the edited things that we have. So at the top, it's got welcome to the playlist. Um, it's also got thanks for playing there. Um, and it's got YouTube craft with craft in light blue, as I set it to in game. And it no longer has um, the server time. So as you can see, that's edited and it's how I want, we want it to be displayed. So let's go back to the configuration file. So we're now back in the configuration file and the next thing that we're going to be editing is the welcome title. So this is the title that's displayed when someone joins the server. So if I just go back to my client, leave and then join back. So it's this message here that says welcome to my server um, and so on. So if we go back to the configuration file, you can see here that you can edit this to display whatever you wanted it to be. So the title shown, you could change this to welcome to um, YouTube craft. And then if I wanted to continue with the same color scheme as the playlist, I could put um, color codes in this too. Um, subtitle as well. Um, make sure you vote. Um, and so on. And then you can change these settings as well. Fade in. So this is how long it will take to fade in um, when a player joins. Um, and then the stay time is how long it stays on the screen for before it disappears. And then fade out is how long it will take to fade out. And all these times are in ticks as you can see here. Um, and then there's also a setting here, so when they first join, it will display a different message. Um, but I won't be able to demonstrate this as I don't have um, another username to join the server with. Um, but as you can see here, you could edit this to again whatever you wanted it to be. So maybe welcome to YouTube Craft for the first time. Um, and something like that and then again you can edit the subtitle all of this can be edited with color codes as well so yeah that's really simple and i don't need to demonstrate this as i've just given you an example so the next thing after this is the action bar um the welcome action bar sorry so this is the little message that appears above your um like inventory slots here so there'll be a little message that pops up saying welcome to so again you can edit this or disable it if you wanted to um, by just changing this to disable so I'm not going to want this to be enabled on my server so I'm going to disable it as I'm using the welcome title rather than the welcome action bar um, but if you were enabling it you could change the title to whatever you wanted to and again you could use color codes and again it's got a first join setting as well so after the action bar the next thing that we're going to take a look at is the scoreboard so this is the scoreboard that's displayed on the right hand side um, so again you can enable or disable you can change the title of it with the animation again so this part here is the animation um, and you can change this to be whatever you wanted it to be um, and again here's the text that's displayed in it so i'm going to change this to youtube craft with the same color code as before to match it and keep it all consistent and then below you can change the lines that are displayed so again you can put different placeholders here and one thing i've not mentioned is all the placeholders that are available so if you actually go to the title manager page which is linked in the description then you click wiki and then you click placeholders you can see all the placeholders that can be used on everything um, so if you just copied this in um, for example if i wanted the 12 hour world time format to be displayed i'd copy that 
and then paste it into here. So if I wanted to replace server time with world time, I just put it there like that. Make sure there's only 1% before it um, and then change that to world time. And it would display the world time instead. So you can use all of these different things um, in the placeholders. So anyway, let's get back to the configuration. So again, you can edit this however you wanted it to. I don't want to display these um, weird symbols here, so I'm just going to delete them with the question marks that are in um, diamonds. So I'm just going to delete them. And again, you can edit this to whatever you want it to be, but I want it to be like this, so I'm leaving it like this. I mean, you could remove these lines if you wanted to completely. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of them, so I'm just going to leave them. I'm going to have gaps above instead. So yeah, that's how you edit that. And the next thing after this is the announcer. So this is the title that will be displayed um, that you've been seeing coming up when I've been in game. And it will come up with like, this is the first announcement. So this is where you can edit this. Um, and there's also one for the action bar. Um, so here you've got the timings and intervals, fade in, stay, fade out again. Similar settings to the other um, settings that we've covered before. And then you can change them here. So if I didn't want any action bar um, announcements at all, you just simply delete them and then they won't be displayed um, and I, I only want titles to, to be displayed so I'm going to change this to um, make sure you vote with slash votes and then the next line is going to be um, check out our website so you can edit these as again so say if I wanted these to fade in slower and um, set it to 40 seconds so it would take or 40 ticks so it would take 40 seconds to fade in um, and yeah so that's how I want it to be and that's how I've set it up now. So the next thing is the messages. So here you can just change all the messages that are related to the plugin in game. Um, but I'm going to leave these alone. Um, but you could edit these to be whatever you wanted. So for example, when someone sends a title message here, you could change this from you have sent um, the player the title, blah, blah, blah. Um, you could change, let's say I wanted it to um, send them another. And then you could just add that message onto the end. And then once they've sent someone a title, this message would appear instead. So yeah, it's really um, simple to edit. So let's just save these settings and take a look at the last few things that we changed. So save it, restart the server to apply the changes, and then I'll see you back on the server. So as you can see here, I've joined my server and it's got the scoreboard with the changes that I've made. Um, and there is an announcement that's running and it will come up with the changes I've made as well. Um, so yeah, that's really how you use Title Manager. Really simple plugin. It um, can get a bit complicated if you start using all the animations and so on. Um, but other than that, it's really simple. So feel free to contact our support if you need any help with it and have any problems. Um, and feel free to suggest any further tutorials you'd like to see on the channel down below in the comments. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.